welcome back to the channel as I got the request for this lab and uh, I know on which step you guys may face the issue like uh, on task number uh, 3 alerting your policy this, this task is quite complicated and you might face the issue uh, <coughs> I will try to explain you uh, so that you can face any issue while doing this lab so once you log in with your credential just search, search for the monitoring in the search box and open this in new tab then go to dashboard and uh, just click on create dashboard and scroll down a little bit no need to done task number one okay scroll down a little bit in task number two copy this my dashboard name like this make sure you do not include that full stop and replace the name over here like this and from here choose line and you are good to go no need to make any changes over here if you just scroll down a little bit and click on check my progress okay uh, okay so we have already make uh, uh, okay no need to make any changes title again click on check my progress and we got a score so yeah that's the thing we have to do for task number one now for task number three so this is a very important task please uh, <coughs> follow uh, please watch the video carefully first of all we have to go to alert and click on create policy alerting and then click on create policy from here choose select the matrix and disable this thing then click on this vm instance from here click on this instance and from here click on u uh, cp uses so click on apply and it will be like this and rolling window make it to one minute and then click on next and for the th threshold value it must be 20 and click on next so once you are in this page again click on add uh, alerting condition again from the select matrix click on there again do the same thing vm instance instance and cp uses like this again from here click on one this one minute and click on next again here select 20 and like this now you will get multi-conditional trigger so for this choose all conditions are met so like this so you have done with that now notification and this thing click on that click on manage notification channel <coughs> now you can see email over here and click on add new click on that you will ask for the email so just scroll uh, just copy the username like this and you can type your name anything I'm just typing a student okay like this and done click on save so you have done with that now go to another, another uh, again monitor tab click on refresh and you will get your uh, notification channel click on select that scroll down little bit name the alerting policy you can name anything I'm just giving the alert and click on next and click on create policy so i try to do this task in one take so that you won't face any issue and you can just uh, follow the video uh, just watch the video and uh, do the lab uh, with, uh, do that stuff in one take okay so now we got a score for task 3 also now task 4 and task fifth are very easy just copy the name just copy the name go to groups click on create groups from here replace the name or like that and for value we have to type in gen x like this done and click on create so we will get a score for this task also okay now the final task go to apply and check 
create uptime check you can write any name i'm just giving uptime like this and click on next http from here choose instance and it must be group and in group section choose your vm instance so we are done with that now click on next no need to many uh, no need to change anything over here click on next scroll down little bit and you will get the notification channel click on that choose student and done and create so it's done now now just click the score check for the score and we got the score i hope you guys like the video and uh, please let me know if you have any doubts thanks for watching guys have a good day